Hey guys, it's June, and in my previous video, I mentioned something about a hummus dilemma. I was so upset because I was devouring the hummus, and a lot of people wrote to me and said, you need to have it in moderation, but I had one person write to me, and she said, no. Well, the garbanzo bean, which is actually on the low glycemic index list of unlimited things that we can eat here on the Dr. Oz two week rapid weight loss, it's on there so I can have that unlimited. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean you go out and you buy the store bought hummus because that contains a lot of processed stuff and um, it's a bit higher in salt. So I am going to make my own with chickpeas, and tahini, if you don't know what tahini is, oh my God. Um, you can actually find it where the peanut butter is and most hummuses, excuse me, in the stores um, contain tahini. Tahini is just dry, roasted, unsalted sunflower seeds and it's pureed, that's all it is. So it just gives the hummus a nutty flavor. Plus I'm gonna incorporate some garlic, some red pepper, and the tahini, of course, and I'm gonna roast some garlic. Oh my God. So I'm going to show you all the ingredients and then I'm gonna show you how I roast my garlic, okay? So stay with me and while I get all my ingredients together. Okay, so these are the ingredients to make my homemade hummus. I have chickpeas. Now with the chickpeas, you want to rinse and drain, okay? Because they've been in the can and you know, they put special kind of chemicals in there to keep the chickpeas fresh. So you definitely want to rinse and drain. I have my garlic. Of course, we're not going to use all this, but I'm going to use one bulb of garlic. Um, a little Mrs. Dash because we can't put any salt in it. So we get the salt-free Mrs. Dash. We could put a little bit in it. We have some red pepper. I'm going to probably put a little more than this. Um, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and this is the tahini that I was talking about. I am so new to this tahini, never heard of it. It sounds like someone's last name, like Joey Tahini, you know, so I, I had no clue. But you, like I said, you can find it in the peanut butter section above. It's expensive, but if you use this for the hummus, it, it'll last you so long. <clears throat> it's basically, this is what it is. Yeah. It's, I'm going to bring it up closer, okay? See, it could be a little creamy. If you taste it, it tastes exactly like roasted sunflower seeds. Yes, it does. All right, so now these are the ingredients that we're using, and now I am going to get ready to roast the garlic. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to set your toaster oven or your regular oven for 400 degrees. Next, you want to take your garlic. Now, you want to cut through your garlic so you can see all the cloves exposed like this, okay? Then, you want to take all the skin, peel it back as much as you can. Just keep peeling it back as much as you can. La 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 la. I love roasted garlic because it, it definitely has a different flavor than just regular garlic. Because regular garlic can be a little pungent, a little bitter, and once you roast it, it becomes like this creamy paste and it's very sweet. It's delicious. So, okay, I guess that's good, okay? So you're gonna do that. And you're gonna get your foil. Get your foil and you're going to drizzle some extra virgin olive oil on top of it. Just like this. It's not staying flat, but do the best you could. Just drizzle some right on it. Make sure it goes on all the clothes. And then, because we're not using salt, we're going to put a little bit of Mrs. Dash on it. Okay, so it's going to look like that. And then we're going to close it up nice and tight, just like this, see, just like that, make sure it's nice and tight. And now we're going to put it in the toaster oven for 40 minutes on 400 degrees. Okay. I hope 
it's yeah, it's a little too tall, so we're just gonna lay down a little bit. That's it. That's better. All right, we can put it directly on here. And that's it. We'll come back in 40 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so my house is now smelling so good from the roasted garlic. And uh, also one thing that I forgot, I forgot to add to the ingredients, lemon. We need lemon. Okay, so that's going to be in there as well. Okay, so 40 minutes has passed and now we're going to open up the foil. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It is nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Okay. So now what we can do is, oh it's a little hot. You can squeeze. Oh, see it comes right out. It's a little hot. Maybe I should wait for it to get a little cooler. Okay, wait. <laughs> yeah, I should have waited. But you know what? I'm already doing it so okay. My advice to you is to wait a little bit. I mean, this this basically just, literally, just came out. Okay. That's too funny. Oh, my gosh. And you just squeeze it out. Try not to touch the garlic directly. But, oh, my God. It smells so good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. I guess that's it. That's it. See? It's all empty. Discard that. Now, what I'm going to do, I already cut up some pepper. So I'm going to put that with the roasted garlic. Look at that. See how it's like a paste. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I got to taste that. It's amazing. Oh my God. I can eat that. Just like really eat that. Okay, so now I have my garbanzo beans all rinsed and drained. I'm going to do this I'm only going to do half. This is one can. So this is 15 ounces. So we're going to probably use about 8 ounces, which is like a cup. So I'm going to put half of the beans in here. Okay. Okay. And now I know I have a little food processor. Sorry, I'm not Rachel Ray. Gonna need some olive oil because it gets a little dry, just a little bit. And then we're gonna just push this down, push it down. And we're gonna do it again. Now I'm going to add roasted garlic and some peppers in there. I really need a bigger processor because <laughs> I can't work like this. But you know what? I wasn't eating like this before. So this is all new to me. Uh, you know, I mean, I was, I was always cooking for my family. Don't get me wrong. But this is all... Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to subject you to all the food processing noise. So I'm going to add my lemon and um, a little bit of Mrs. Dash and maybe some... Oh, wait, I forgot my tahini. What? Come on now. Oh, my God. How did I do that? Okay, I'm going to add one. I'm going to do one more. Oh, my gosh. That should make it nice and creamy and give it like a nutty flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna do it and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is my hummus. Look, it's nice and creamy. Oh my gosh. It has a bit of a orangey um, color to it from the peppers. And to tell you the truth, it tastes delicious. Mm. Oh my God. And this is all great ingredients. I mean, there is nothing processed here. It's just really, really good. So this is great to snack on instead of like the, the, um, like the spinach dip that you buy in the store that's so high in salt and the sour cream and onion. This is a great alternative 
Oh my gosh. And now for the taste test. Mmm. Yum yum. Mmm. Oh my god. It tastes amazing. And you know what? I didn't even use the Mrs. Dash. I didn't feel like I needed to because this hummus has every flavor in it. I mean, it, it's just, it's so flavorful. It wakes up every taste bud in your mouth. And, um, and it's healthy. So that's the most important thing, right? So I hope you enjoyed my video. And um, that's it. You can comment, subscribe, like my video, share it. That's always good, right? You can share my video. Or you can just watch it, enjoy it, and just uh, follow the recipe. Okay, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. Bye. Thanks for watching.